Good day to you, my fellow South Africans. I'm JT in the province of the Eastern Cape in East London in Buffalo City Metropolitan Municipality to be exact. I'm making this video today because I have reason to believe that part of the reason why South Africa is continuing to decline and going into a state of mayhem and quagmire as is the situation right now is because of the silence, the indifference of those that can and should say not in our name, not in our country. For those that remember that the reason for the struggle was not that one in their own personal capacity can benefit but it was the social contract to say that unless we come together as a people and find this dragon called apartheid system unless we make life better and livable for all South Africans unless we fight for that goal none of us in our own individual uh, capacities or in our own individual places will ever enjoy anything, any freedom, any type of freedom. And we have come to that particular time as the South African populace where we are actually just, just at the nick of time before we see what has happened in Zimbabwe happening in South Africa. South Africa is broke, South Africans. South Africans South Africa is broke. We are a country that is rated a junk status for investor confidence. We are a country that is living on borrowed money. We are a country that has literally just sold its strategic assets to China. We are a country that has just uh, literally tried to sell the South African Airways to the private um, institutions, the private uh, business, which private business uh, does not have any reflection or any representation of the South African, the real South African populace. Because I can tell you now that whoever is able to buy shares in those is not the voter. It's a few elite that have actually gained the elite status because of our votes and it's those that had already benefited from the apartheid system and are continuing to benefit and continue to reap the rewards of apartheid system it is unfortunate that today we, we talk about corruption and yet we protect the corrupt it is unfortunate that today we we, we talk about rescuing ESCOM by taking the money from the poor where ESCOM goes to NERSA and says NERSA give me the right to raise the electricity tariffs to the detriment of the poor when we know the reason why ESCOM is where it's at it's not a rocket science we know who made ESCOM to be what it is today instead of going after those people we go to the, the, the poor people Instead of going after the people that have sold the country out, we create commissions of inquiry so that people can come and give their version if they want, if, if, if it pleases them, if they can just be so kind as giving us their version. And there are men and women, and I'm not glorifying crime at any point in my discourse but yet there are men and women who are arrested for stealing a, a one kg of meat package so that they can go and feed their hungry children they will be arrested tried immediately and hoid in prison yeah that's the south africa that we're living in i'm reminded of the animal farm where others are more equal than others we have become so complacent, we have become so paralyzed that the system that we are living in right now has become the new normal where 
where we we protect people because they are the people of the same color as I am, even when they do wrong, even when they 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 put the safety and the security and the future of this country in jeopardy. We we have allowed our state our, our state to be so worse that the country is on autopilot. Because I can tell you now, I can tell you now, the promises that Ramaphosa came with that he will deal harshly with corruption. Um, he's not taking too long. He's just not taking any. Because the reality of it, face it, guys, face it. The reality of it is you can't go after certain people. It's not certain people that are responsible for the level of corruption in South Africa that you see today. Jacob Zuma could not have committed the corruption that is in the South Africa. That is why Jacob Zuma said, he, what is it that I have done that others have not done? If you're expecting that Ramaphosa is going to be the Messiah, we, we, you are having a nightmare. It's not a dream. It's a nightmare. And unless we wake up today and say no, unless we do something about the situation. And I actually want to take this opportunity to say that people such as, um, you know, Musi Maimani, who was hated for actually you know speaking against the wrong and and part of the reason is because we understand that the, the poor guy was dealt a blow i mean he was you know you know laboring under a, a wrong impression that he he had the whole crew behind him only to find that he was actually window dressing i'm sorry that that, that is a fact that's what really yeah you what is was a disappointment you know um but when he said I Safani, ANC I Safani, that is true, I Safani ANC. It's, it, this is not the ANC that my mother died for. This is not the ANC that my mother was, was kicked and, and hospitalized by the apartheid system, the apartheid security branches then uh, for. This is not the ANC that Nelson Mandela went to Robben Island for. This is not the ANC that Stephen Bantu Biko uh, endured the physical and mental pain uh, until the last moment where he drew his breath. This is not the freedom that these people were, you know, giving their lives away for. It's not. It's not. This is not the kind of freedom that we have signed up for because it's not freedom at all. Our people are still living in the same squalid conditions and things are only getting worse right here in Buffalo City Metropolitan Municipality. And this is, this is a really a disgusting thing. We hear the minister, uh, Lindy Wesisulu, speaking harsh against the DA ran Western Cape for evicting people who have occupied land and yet she is mum about what has just happened here in Ebongweni in Buffalo City Metropolitan Municipality in the Eastern Cape where the ANC government has actually demolished people's houses. Talk about, you know, speaking one thing and doing the other. We, 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 we have seen the ANC saying that we, we are vociferous against corruption and when people are being tried then they, they, they go and protect them. You will remember that, that, that during the, the time of, 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 of Tabo Mbeki when he, he said there was just too much cloud on Jacob Zuma to be, for, to be uh, you know, running the office of the deputy presidency at the same time whilst you know, facing what he was facing. And the whole ANC Youth League went crazy, led by yours truly, Julius Malema, who actually made a promise live to the nation that at the particular period of period in time, uh, Tawambeki will not be a president because of what he did to uh, Jacob Zuma. And well enough, the, the, the president, Tawambeki, uh, left the seat. It is the same Julius Malema today who actually sees ANC as, as this kind of an animal and all that. Do we have hope in South Africa? What are we going to do about this situation? Well, I'm not claiming to be having all the answers, but I can tell you this that the way things are, 
are you correct too? And anyone who tells you and tries to sideline you because, because you, your opinion differs to them, because you hold an opinion that this is not how things are supposed to be, that particular person is either doing that because their stomachs are full because of the, the, the fruits of corruption or they are standing in line and they, they are seeing you as a threat to their turn to actually also you know come in and grab from the from 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 the corruption bucket that is waiting there is that they were promised somewhere i can tell you that for a fact the fact of the matter is that the brevity that we had then is is nullified the lives of the people that were lost because of the struggle for freedom then all of that was for nothing if we're not going to do anything about the situation in our country right now. We're in the midst of COVID-19 when people's uh, struggle and the levels of poverty are actually hugely amplified and yet the members of the ANC find it as an opportunity to actually self-enrich and go and get loans with the name of the poverty of the people in order so that they can, that they can just loot that money. It, 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 it cannot be, it cannot be. And if you are not fed up with that as a, as a South African, you are a sellout. You are a sellout if you think that is okay. On the 29th of August, Hemel Mashaba is going to be launching, I've seen that on social media, that will be launching the People's Dialogue. <sighs> I'm keen to hear what he has to say. And I think we owe it to ourselves, South Africans, to listen to Herman Mashaba and hear what he has to say. To give him an ear, just give him an ear, so that we don't come back and say things that we have heard from someone. Let's give him an ear and see what he has to say. If he's off the mark, we have to continue. The fact of the matter is that we cannot leave it all to fate because as it is right now, the country is on autopilot unless we do something about it. We are soon to crash land. We are soon to crash land. Think about it.